afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Washington Nationals and the Miami Marlins. Stepping into the box, Trey Turner. He will lead this one off today. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. Stepping in now, Adam Eaton. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Here's Howie Kendrick. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. The 3 1. Liner towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Juan Soto to the plate now. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Juan Soto. Hard on the ground toward short. Right to him. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in, Jonathan Villar. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Up next from Miami, Miguel Rojas. He's got three hits in six tries for the series. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Ready now, Corey Dickerson. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded cleanly by Zimmerman, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Riding in now for the Nats, Eric Thames, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Thames behind one and two. One and two. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Stepping up now, Kurt Suzuki. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kurt Suzuki is sent packing for route number two in the inning. The one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Fouled off. The 2-2 one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Ryan Zimmerman would be next. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A payoff pitch one more time. Pulled toward right center field. Joyce is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. That'll bring in Garrett Cooper. Past battles with Scherzer, just a one for nine. Called 
and strike two as he locks him up there. Hit hard to third. Cabrera's up with it. And there's one down now. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. The one two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Here's Matt Joyce now. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Still one and two as he fouls it away. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Soto is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. In now for Washington, Ryan Zimmerman. He comes into this one having sputtered out of the gate this season. The average is under the 200 mark at this point. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. Come on. Two and two. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. One away now in the Washington third. And that'll bring up one of the better hitting pitchers in Max Scherzer. One and one, here it comes. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Liner towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Stepping in, Trey Turner. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Now the three and two pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. Ready now for the Marlins. Harold Ramirez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So one out now for the Marlins in their half of the third. And up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. No contact there, and it's one and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. The one two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Alfaro is retired, two down now. Batting back. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Pablo Lopez. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is the right fielder. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. At the plate, Jonathan Villar. Just hung in there on that one. A swing.
swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. set for the start of the inning coming to the plate now Adam Eaton he drew a base on balls his first time up the three and one pitch hard hit ball to second and that finds its way through for a base hit so now to the plate Howie Kendrick and it's two balls and two strikes now stays alive still two and two Eaton gets his lead at first nobody out on a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one so next will be the four hole for the Nationals Juan Soto one Soto. the one one and a breaking ball runs in and gets him and I doubt there is any intent behind that so stepping in, Eric Thames, Eric. as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Very high, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. And the count will be full. Big swing by Thames and a deep drive to right. And that's a home run into the top tank. To the plate now, Kurt Suzuki. Lays off the changeup and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Now the three and two pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And this one bounds around against the wall. Now that third base into the box now as Drupal Cabrera chopper to second this will be a tough turn he's got it on to first and Cabrera's a ground out victim two away here's Ryan Zimmerman now runner in scoring position with two gone three runs already home here hit high and deep to right center right fielder giving chase but he can't get to it, and that'll score the runner from second as it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Into the box, Max Scherzer. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Joyce is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Stepping into the box, Miguel Rojas, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. The 1-1 one, one is taken for strike two. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough the first out. Settling in Corey. now, Corey Dickerson. He got Dickerson. on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A ball and two strikes now. One ball, two strikes. High in the air out to center field. Eaton is under this one. And he's got it for out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Garrett Cooper. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. In there at the letters, 1 and 2 now. And 
good take that time on a low breaking ball. Two and two now. Scherzer gets the sign. Here it comes. No, that missed. That's the ball. Brian Anderson would be next. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now, and into bat is Trey Turner. The 1 1 home. Two and two. Two and two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The center fielder, number two. One gone for the Nationals Adam. in the fifth, and the next to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Joyce is there, and that retires the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Into the box now. Brian Anderson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's 2 and 1 now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Popped him up. Zimmerman is over and he puts it away for the first down. Ready for another chance. Matt Joyce. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that's into the corner. A foul ball in right. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Digging in for his second at bat, Harold Ramirez. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the one and one. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Eaton is there now, and he has it, two gone. Standing in, Jorge Alfaro. Now 0 for 1 Kendrick. for him here in this one. Jorge. Fifth Alfaro. inning here in a 4 to 1 ball game. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Line hard toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first and second here. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. In now, Jonathan Villar. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. 
For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pit. Got Great. him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Adam Conley is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 51. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Juan Soto. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Two and one. Three balls and a strike to the Nationals' left fielder. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Four runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. On the ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly. There's one. And an offline throw, but a good tag this time to get his man anyway. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at and the count moves full. Line drive. Base hit down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. The third baseman, number 13, has Dribble Cabrera. At the plate now, as Dribble Cabrera hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. the sixth inning now digging in once again Miguel Rojas a strikeout and a line out for him so far things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning three and two full count now the payoff pitch home not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now with the plate, Corey Dickerson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Two balls, no strike. Three and one to the Marlins left fielder. Garrett Cooper will be next. Fastball too high. Ball four. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Garrett Cooper. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Cooper. set and the 2 1 pitch that's the ball, that's shin high fastball that time ball three and a ball popped foul to the right side out of play now the three and two pitch gets him looking up around the letters so it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. Brian Anderson. Into the corner and slicing foul. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4-2 to two ball game. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Sterling Sharp is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. Seventh inning ready to roll. So digging in now, Ryan Zimmerman. He's working on a one for two game so far. 
swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Zimmerman. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he crashes headlong into the wall. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Here now is Trey Turner. High and deep to left center field. Back goes Joyce, still going back. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Yeah, and you could see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh, getting the first two outs, but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. At the plate, Adam Eaton. Sent on the ground out to second. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Now back, second baseman, Howie. To the plate now, Howie Kendrick. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Matt Joyce, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Here's the 1-1 one -one now to Joyce. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now with the plate, Harold Ramirez. 0 for 2 here to start the Harold. afternoon. Ramirez. Two and two. Five two our score as we play inning number seven. And it's up to a three two full count now. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty B, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There to get it is Kendrick. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Drew Steckenrider will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Francisco Cervelli will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 29, Francisco Cervelli. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Ready for another Eric. shot now. Eric Thames. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at one least. Two. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Ready on one and two. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Hit out towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. The third baseman, number three. Runner at first following the error. And standing in is the veteran third baseman as Dribble Cabrera. A 
one one. Nope, that's in. This is line to left. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The batter, the first baseman. So now to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw on to first is going to get him, and the Nationals blow an opportunity here, and that ends the inning. Will Harris will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Starlin Castro is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And batting up, number 14. Now the 2-1 popped him up. Zimmerman has room in foul territory. One away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jonathan Villar, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1-1. Swing and a liner. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Now batter, shortstop, Miguel. Into the box now, Miguel Rojas. On the ground is short. This could be two. Kendrick. Relay to Zimmerman, the double play to end the inning. Brandon Kinsler enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Starlin Castro as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. On the run, this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Count is even at two and two to Starlin Castro. The two two. Pitch is swung on and hit toward VR at second. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the lineup flips over and digging in Trey Turner. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So It'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. And there are two away now. In now is Adam Eaton. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Now the three and two pitch. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Sean Doolittle is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Into the box now, Corey Dickerson. Over two with a walk for him so far. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs. Off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Standing in now, Garrett Cooper. Here's strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batting, 
So striding forward now, Brian Anderson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Shot toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And now Matt Joyce. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Looking at his career totals, Joyce has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. All even now, two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Ryan Harper takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Harold Ramirez will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hit high and deep out to left. Left fielder looking up. Still ranging back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Jesus Aguilar will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Two out, nobody on. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four, so now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Standing in, Francisco Cervelli. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Fouled away. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Two and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Ryan Stanek takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 55. Digging in, Howie Kendrick struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. 2 2. Dirt, did he go around? Yes, he did. Cervelli recovers, and the throw is there to record the first down. Here now is Juan Soto. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Two and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Eric. This one's up around the eyes, two and one. And he'll 
step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in Jonathan VR. He's one for four for the game. The one two. Too high. Ball three. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. Left side, but well fouled. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Into the box, Miguel Rojas. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Now in the box, Corey Dickerson. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Two and two. Here it is. Popped him up. Castro in foul ground. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Eleventh inning set to get underway, so striding in, Kurt Suzuki. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. The three and one pitch. He was swung on and missed. A full count now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Victor Robles will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 16, Victor Robles. to drag his way on here but now he's behind one and two swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first out digging in Ryan Zimmerman he was a ground out victim last time up fastball laid off well below the knees Not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. There's Starlin Castro. He'll follow next. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now that third baseman, Starlin Castro. At the plate, Starlin Castro. And that's taken for a cold strike two. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. From the belt, the pitch struck him out. But speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Now back, the center fielder, 
Adam Eaton. Stepping in now, Adam Eaton. He's fallen behind now, three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Howie Kendrick will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Here's the one two. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And the score is the runner from first. That makes it a 9 5 ball game. The left field, number 22, Juan Soto. At the plate now, Juan Soto. 2 and 2. two, two. Line drive to center field. Joyce is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Wait, Daniel wait, Hudson wait, will wait, come wait, on wait, out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 44. Daniel. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Garrett Cooper, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. He struck him out the third time he's oh, fanned in the game. The third baseman, Brian Anderson. Now the three and two pitch. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Now batting, the now batting Matt Joyce. One and one, here it is. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's late on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball trying to pick things up where we left off Harold Ramirez who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day now the two one pitch three one well tying run on deck he should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hot shot on the ground to short. Kendrick on to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. Ryan Harper claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals, nine runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Marlins, five runs, seven hits, one error. They left seven men on base.
time of the ball game, three hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.